Welcome back, guys. My name is ZDogs82, and we're here to play some more Stellaris. So, last time we played, we set up our empire. We created our new our new people, the new race, the Goxi or the Gox people, people of Gox, and we are a reptilian type of people, and we haven't managed to spread out too much yet. But yeah, with the Gox centralized planets, we barely had any time to really do much. We've got inactive buildings. This one, I believe. Yes, that's right. That's okay. Big Griffa. How do we get there? What is over there, anyways? Okay, so we've got the Void Skulkers who are returning to our home system of Yajrak. The construction ship, what is it doing? It's building a mining station, and this science ship is going to the debris. So we're good. We'll just press play and let things happen. How's our homeworld doing? Not bad, not bad, but we can do better. Let's clear out this tile so that we can get more energy as well as this one. Let's not go too crazy though. Alright, our fleet is moving. So I can go repair itself. Got an enemy over there that I should be able to beat pretty soon if I can build a few more ships. Get a new Corvette because apparently all we can use at the moment is Corvettes. That's okay. How's the composition of the Corvette? Ah, uh, yes, that's right. We're using nuclear missiles. And we've got just the tier one fission reactor. We haven't managed to find any upgrades for that yet. And we've got a defense platform. That's nice. Yes, very nice. I put that in places. <laughs> okay, so our mining station is complete. We're going to move him along and get him to Orbit over Washkar 3, which is a continental world which we just cannot colonize like at all. Our people just aren't compatible with that. But we'll get some physics research out of that. Yep, we got more ships now. Fully repaired. Excellent. And now we'll kick the speed up a little bit because we got nothing else to do for a little while while we wait for the rest of our people to do their stuff. Our research is going good. We're about to get a colony ship. I like that. We've leveled up. Good, good. Election only on rule of death. Yeah, that's right. Agree. Degree analyzed. Oh, that was good. Research complete. And our colony ship is now done. Good. Let's get planetary unification so that we can get more complete. influence. So, I'm going to slow down again. And what are we going to do? I'm going to survey this planet because it's now within our zone of influence, basically. I'm going to get ready to build a new station here, a research station. Have we encountered any people? No. Okay. So we have eight population of Gox, Gox people. 
just on one planet. Okay, now the construction ship can do its business. Let's take a look at the science ship, see where it's going. That is a good world for us. Arid, nice. There is an enemy vessel over there that I would very much like to know what they are. Our population here is nearly fully built. That's good. Speed up some more. Just to pass the time, you know, don't want to be sitting here doing nothing for too long. Expanding in the beginning is slow. It is. But I love Stellaris. Seventy over 70%. Let's get a couple more move orders. Slow this down again. We can come over to I don't know, research it since it's zero percent. Actually, go here. We want those minerals more than the um, energy credits because we tend to be needing to use a lot of minerals often at this point. Let's see. We can build a new Corvette. Excellent. I want that so that I can go fight my enemies and effectively take them out. Just a few more. He's level three. He's an archaeologist, so he's awesome. Okay, disease control. Debris from what must have been a massive orbital installation have been discovered above Najaga 2. Artifacts recovered amongst the debris have confirmed that this space station served as the headquarters of the Eurasian Concordal's Authority of Disease Control some 1.2 million years ago. The Eurasians were more susceptible to alien diseases than most known species, and the budget of their public health institute nearly rivaled that of their military. Despite this, surviving records show that their entire species perished from the Javorian pox. Oh, unfortunate. Situation log updated. Okay. Orbital station. Interesting. We'll recruit one more Corvette once we get the Dosh to do that. This Javorian pox thing seems to be construction seems to have been very deadly. It like killed many of their people. All right, let's activate that. So now our people are in rolling and food. Good. Construction ship is just hanging out in the system, not really able to do much because I keep spending all the money. Research complete. 
let's enter the orbit. Search complete, okay. So we got research speed plus 5%. Nice. Colony development speed would be great to have, considering the fact that my people are like very slow to construction complete. Um, build their population, you know. Okay, that's a big one that we can't get to anytime soon. Okay, so we've got a decent sized fleet here. 125. Research complete. All research, lovely. Survey complete. And the survey of our systems are going well. Um Let's go for fusion missiles. Let's send our fleet to Sudan. And let's talk to the science ship and say, hey man, I need you to keep moving. Research that project, please. Uh, construction ship brother, you can build me a mining station to get us some more minerals. And then I'm going to need you to do some mining stations for credits because we're starting to run out. Okay, are we strong enough to take them on? I think we are. Special project complete. Awesome! Situation updated. Let's track that. Let's see where the scientist went. Space piracy. I don't need that crap. Closing in on the mining drones, we should be able to beat them. Here we go. Hostile, please engage. Oh, look at that oh, of missiles. Uh, we got some random aliens attacking us again. Just overpowering them with all the missiles. Take the amount of missiles that are coming out. Okay, let's move on and take out this mining station. Okay, we've dis disassembled the drone. The mining drones were destroyed in a heated battle with the Gox vessels. As luck would have it, their energy cells are by far the sturdiest component used in their construction, and some were recovered by our ships. The technology behind these cells is beyond us at present. But initial tests show we are quite capable of converting their output to energy credits. Nice. As the final energy cell bled out, the engineers handling the test noticed a dip in the background radiation. It would appear that the drones are not silenced but have been sporadically broadcasting on unusual frequencies since we first encountered them possibly ever since they were first deployed. It is unlikely that there is anyone left to receive these transmissions. 
At any rate, the drones could prove to be a potent but limited source of energy, should we be able to find and disable them efficiently enough. Very well. Man, there's a lot of aliens randomly popping up recently. Mining station is no match for us. We're just about done here. Totally destroyed. Situation log updated. Return. Science officer. Come this way. Research. And then research that one. Now our construction ship. Hello, friend. I want you to build a mining station there. How is the planet going? Station under attack. Our station is under attack. Where? Oh, you pirates. You filthy pirates. Come on, Floyd. And our station's just gonna blast them on, on its own. <laughs> That's funny as. And our fleet is now moving in to finish them off. And we are going to lose one of our ships, I reckon. We lost our mining station, did we? Oh no, we didn't. We did lose a ship, though. Go back to the capital and heal, please. Okay, you've got some move orders to deal with. Construction shipmate. We need another mining station over here. Now our home planet. Good, good, good. He's setting up on the new power node. Uh, let's give him a power plant. Can I build a new ship? Like a colony ship, I wonder. No, I can't afford that, not for a while. And I couldn't sustain it anyways. Let's 
such a small people in such a big galaxy. Okay, this is taking too long. Something needs to happen. Reanalyzed. Thank you for analyzing that. Getting some excellent research points done. Our repairs on our fleet are finished. Good. Transmission from Oberdin. We are receiving a transmission from the Oberdin. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Diplomatic channels are now open and the all hostilities between us have ceased for the moment. Interesting. Ooh. I speak on behalf of the Oberdin Empire and I come with a message for your depraved species. As long as you stay out of our internal affairs and treat our great leader, Emperor Dussel the First, with reverence, there may yet be peace between our nations. Hmm. We will not be held back, Obinans. First alien encounter. The news that we have encountered intelligent alien life for the first time has been received with mixed feelings by our populace. This confirms what we had long suspected. We are not alone in this galaxy. Each new alien species we encounter represents both an opportunity and a threat. We must be wary. These particular Xenos have a level of technology similar to our own, indicating that we achieved space flight at roughly the same time. So, let's move our fleets over here to see what's going on. Let's uh, talk to the new people. They don't like me because of why. Border friction, new contact, purge policy, and xenophobia. Yeah, they are really not cool with us. Well, let's declare a rivalry. Now they're hostile to us, and they're equivalent to us in every way, militarily speaking. Okay, okay, I think we've mined everything. Now we're going to go for the research. What do these guys have, I wonder? Just one random planet? Debris analyzed. Let us end this charade. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Okay. If Muriel's science ship remains difficult to detect, but apparently not difficult enough, the blur of confused sensor readings that we have come to associate with the head's ship is flanked on both sides by a pair of rather nasty looking corvettes. The physicist head is hailing us. Greetings, Grand Marshal. Your ships are a most welcome sight. I fear my own sudden appearance in this system may have angered the alien beings aboard the ships that now surround mine. Any assistance in rectifying whatever flux pass? Oh, cool. Um, I may have committed would be appreciated. 
I will gladly share with you the nature of my expedition once this matter is settled. We will try to get you out of this mess. Get lost, you found the rotten ghost ship. <laughs> Sunblaster pirates. Once we figure out how to see it proper like, it's a, as good as boarded and ours. Not yours, and it's Captain Dead. Ready weapons. The fool needs to be taught a lesson. Skitskri, weapons. You will know the military might of the Gox. Weak. Weak source. How are they supposed to beat us? Ooh, they have lasers. Well then, prepare to die. Hostile, please engage. <laughs> Oh, they're dumb. I'm not even going to lose a single ship here. We've ripped them apart already. So easy. I see you made short work of the pirates, Grand Marshal. As a scientist, I have heard of violence, but recognize that it may have been, a ne been necessary in this case. I strongly suspect I would have been treated less than kindly at the hands of those pirates. Indeed, now speak. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yes. Of course. There is... I'll not bore you with the details, Grand Marshal, but there is this idea if you will, that nothing is real or that what we think is real is not. And that is less real, less so than something else. That this, this is all I, you, yourself, Grand Marshal, the very laws of nature we consider absolute, nothing but tricks of the light. The universe as a, reflect, as a reflection, hologram or prism simply breaking the brilliant rays of the truly real. See? The light has come from somewhere through the window. You know I will not, Grand Marshal. What the hell? In fact, having, um, having had some time to consider additional possibilities. I believe there is a significant risk I will not be able to return without, within a reasonable time frame. I have taken the liberty of uploading whatever research data I have that may benefit the Gox people to the databases on Gadra. The data related to the Windows stays with me, though. I am starting to think I am not ready. Certainly no one else is. I will be going now. Wait. A quick check confirms the hence claims. The Gox Central Alliance planets have enjoyed a small but not insignificant boost to our collective body of physics research. The physics physicists have vanished once again, but this time their course had been divined because they were even out before they were even out of the system. If they are headed for this window, then so are we. Situation log updated. Okay. Whatever their motives may be, the chair must be brought back to Yadra. Whatever they will write, whether they will write a revolutionary thesis or simply face disciplinary action remains to be seen. Okay, let's get you moving to the Uruk system, 
and you can build for me a mining station right there. We're going to get back to Yajra and build another Corvette. Check on the people. Yes, things are going rather well. Let's uh, deactivate that for right now. At least I'm aware of that I did that myself. So, where would I find this scientist? There. Is that it? Research that. Level. Okay, we're good. Can we build a new Corvette? Not quite yet. And now we can. Hey guys, how are ya? Good. How are ya? How are you doing? Hello. Alright, what are you playing now? Is this a different game? This one's called Stellaris. I'm recording right now. <laughs> that was just some friends of mine, guys, from America. <laughs> They're staying with me. They're cool people. <laughs> No one's there. Okay, our fleet's being repaired. We're waiting on one more ship, and then we might go and chase down that scientist. That's a piece of so tired. Yeah, give me Construction. Alright, we got all the ships that we need, I think. Now we're going to head down to this system to stop the scientist from going through his so called window. My construction ship has done its job. Good. What else can you do for us now? That would actually be a good idea. Get to research in physics and society. Not bad at all. <laughs> Our fleet's in orbit over here getting ready to jump. Special project complete. Excellent. Um, Situation will take a moment. Situation will be completed. Got more aliens popping up all over the place for us to investigate. Research complete. Okay, the window opens. For the first time, the prototype science ship is plainly visible on sensors that is orbiting dangerously close to the system's star, but appears otherwise unremarkable. A simple optical scan reveals the ship's secret. Its hull is a standard design, altered with much subtlety, now crisscrossed by a lattice of metal filaments likely acting as electromagnets at alternating lightly controlled voltages. By staying close to the to a star, the ship can weakly warp its stellar emissions, wrapping them around itself as a form of camouflage. That's pretty smart. 
Well, conceptually interesting, the technique has obviously practical drawbacks. As evidence, the entire setup now has been fried and rendered useless by prolonged exposure to solar radiation. Greetings, Grand Marshal. It seems entirely reasonable to assume that you would follow again. So, I did. Hmm. Sorry? I thought about going to school to make games. I tried to. Did you? And? It didn't work out. How tough? Too hard. Is it hard? Because all the engineering and all that kind of stuff, and all the math and all the... Yeah, how to learn IT. all the different systems. Learning how to code. And then the coding is a big deal. So do you think you might ever try it again? One day, maybe. Maybe. This, this is your evening activity, isn't it? <laughs> do you love it? Yes, I do. Do you? Yes. That's fine. Okay. Okay. I have found the window. I think a window at least. There may be more. Do our true selves lie beyond? Does anything? I must confess that I haven't the faintest idea. I recognize that no one else may very well benefit from whatever knowledge I gain, but to stop here would be utterly irresponsible. What will you do? I will attempt to pass through the window into reality. The light of the real does not solely shine through here, of course. The entire universe is like a vast pane of glass, and we are the minute rat warps and imperfections in it, given life by the brilliance beyond. This is the window because I believe it opens. <laughs> Your actions are harebrained and dangerous. I truly regret all the trouble I have caused, Grand Marshal, I do. However, I owe nothing to the Gox centralized planets. I have paid my dues in full, and of this I am sure. You came after me of your own volition, and I am grateful for your help. But I made my intentions clear at the outset. Hmm... We will forget about the whole thing. Just come home. The window opens, Grand Marshal. Goodbye. Head physicist. So... The science ship is empty. All suits for extravehicular activity remain in their pods, and the ship's log states that the airlock had has never been exit cycled. The ship still orbits the star, but is now under Gox control. That's creepy. Okay, that was very creepy. Okay, that is a little bit more than creepy. A lot more creepy than I would have hoped for, but um, yeah, okay. Let's uh, end the playthrough there, guys. Well, what happened to the scientists? Like, for real, I have no idea. Apparently something. But, um, that was an interesting chain of quest chain, I, I feel like. But, um, when we come back next time, we're going to be producing more ships, building up our planets, trying to colonize a bit more so that we can become stronger. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far. And if you have, 
well great. If you haven't, please let me know how I can make it better, improve, and I'll see you in the next video. Alright. Every day your scalp comes under attack Bye. from heat, sweat, and pollution. It can aggravate dandruff and it keeps coming back. Go with the shampoo that's clinically. to your music. <laughs> <laughs> 